Hello, good afternoon. So today's our topic is uh, brain impulse, meaning electric impulses in your brain. What exactly are those electric impulses? As you read these words, billions upon billions of electric impulses are flying through your brain in a complex symphony of activity. All, through, all those impulses are somehow encoding your thoughts, your feelings, and your understandings. There are about 85 billion neurons in a typical adult human brain, and about 10 quadrillion connections or synapses between all those neurons. That is one followed by 16 zeros. Very amazing. The complexity is truly staggering and hard to wrap one's mind around it. It's an information network of a size and computational space that defies any notion of intuitive grasp. And that is just the neuron. There are another 86 billion non neural cells in your brain, including class of cells that also contributes to information processing capable of cross talking with those 85 billion neurons this complexity is so staggering that the only way to keep track of it all and begin to attempt to understand it is to use mathematical modeling and data analysis Neuroscientists may ever need to wait for quantum computers to become available in order to fully simulate the brain. And yet the fundamental unit of all this complexity of all the information processing taking place are individual electrical impulses and chemical signaling events. This is their story. This story necessarily with what the anatomy and structure of a neuron brain cell looks like. There are a few key parts that we need to be aware of. As I have already shown that image, a neuron has an orientation to it, a polarity, a front end and a back end. At the front end are the dendrite, spidery and often dense projections that all the converge and meet at the cell body. Uh, the body contains structures and organelles that keep it alive and carry out various cellular and genetic processes. Connected to the cell body is the axon. It is along the axon that action potential charges of electrical impulses or spikes propagate down until they reach the synaptic terminals where the spikes end but initiate a biochemical process that passes the signal along the other neurons. Action potentials in the axon and related but different types of electrical impulses in the dendrites are the physical carriers of the information coursing through the neuron that then gets passed on to other neurons in the network. There is a careful directionality to the flow of the information. The dendrites collect and integrate incoming signals from other neurons. If the amount of the integration of those neur neural signals is sufficient, hope the individual signals add up with each other and they reach a certain critical threshold. Then an action potential is triggered at the initial segment the spot where the axon starts at the cell body. The subsequent action potential then propagates uninterrupted and unattenuated in size, amplitude, and shape, electrical waveform down the anterior length of the axon until it reaches the synaptic terminals. The signal that crosses over at the synapse to other neurons is not an electrical impulse but rather a chemical message that then triggers new electrical impulses in the dendrites of the downstream neurons. 
just one of as many as tens to thousands of hun such inputs simultaneously occurring on the dendrites. In this way, billions upon billions of signals independently and simultaneously propagate through the entire brain across the massive network of 85 billion neurons. That is truly amazing. The result is well, you know, and who are they? What you think, how you interact with the physical world through your senses, what you imagine, how you feel, how you learn, and how you remember. Your mind, as far as we know, is the result of the physical processes in your brain and all the action potentials and other cellular signals responsible for collective carrying and processing all the information the brain contains. This is all a lot to unpack. It is also a bit like a circle. It doesn't matter where one and the circle you start on. You can start anywhere, go around, and you end up back in the same place. So to understand how neurons communicate with each other, we have to start somewhere. Anywhere on the circle, since a neuron receiving signals from other upstream neurons is eventually passing through signals to other neurons downstream. But the detailed matters so in a series of these signals we can understand them eventually. The electric impulses in the dendrites are functionally and biophysically different than the action potentials in the axon. And the events at the synaptic terminals when the action potential reaches the end of the axon are completely different than what is taking place in either the dendrites or the axon. In fact, and introduced as introduced above, what happens at the synapse is not electrical at all. It's a biochemical mechanism that takes or triggered by the arrival of the action potential, which in turn passes the signal across the synapse to the next neuron, what in turn puts us back at the dendrites of the next set of neurons and back to signaling via electrical impulse is all exclusivity engineering. The physical basis of electric impulses in cells really amazing. The first fundamental thing to understand is what an electric impulse means. I have already put down some of the questions regarding electric impulses. What is what it is physically in a neuron or for that matter in any cell capable of sustaining electrical activity. This is a building block principle we will refer back to over and over again. The hydrophobic environment of the cell membrane through the is fully up at the molecule is between the phospholipids do that various things provides a regulated and controlled set of mechanisms and control points for the cell to interact with its local environment not unlike the way we use our five senses to interact with the physical world so with this as a starting point we will be able to understand how the flow of these things or i may say ions produce an electrical impulse in the membranes of the neurons and how very rapidly local transient changes in the membrane potential produce the action potentials in themselves so that is all, that is it for today thanks for you all of you thanks for the day